climate change is the main challenge that uh, our globe is facing and there is presently a conflict between the, our attempt and our need to combat uh, climate change and our trade policy and that has to be fixed. The debate today discussed about the uh, future of the EU trade measures on imports of uh, Chinese solar panels. Uh, the Commission started a uh, review whether or not to prolong these measures in the beginning of next year. And uh, many people around the table argued that those measures should be abolished. Indeed, the trade policy is in fact inhibiting our chances of growing solar in Europe because they have introduced very heavy tariffs of 64% on modules and cells imported from China. Now, there's a problem with that in the sense that we can't simply meet the demand for solar products in Europe on our own, and we need those products. So, in a sense, what we're doing is creating a tax on a product we must have. The European Union has, with a precision of a surgeon, been able to hit almost all renewable energy sources with uh, tariffs, and especially anti-dumping tariffs. We have ethanol, we have biodiesel, we have solar panels. The problem with that, with that is, of course, that we make our transition into a CO2 neutral economy more expensive than necessary. And therefore, what we have to discuss here at this event today is how we get away from that, how we can broaden the union interest test and see to that the trade policy of the European Union works hand in glove together with our environmental policy and environmental objectives. Our anti-dumping regulation says if there is dumping which causes injury to the producers, you should protect them. At the same time, the regulation also says, but if the protection hurts the users, in this case the installers of uh, solar PV uh, systems, you have to look at on a proportionality what is more important and in this case uh, we have to make our value judgment keeping in mind how many jobs are affected how efficient is also the EU producers what is the likelihood of let's say uh, having the EU isolated from worldwide efficiency gains so indeed it's a rock and a hard place. I understand that the European Commission is just following laws, agreements and principles which mandate them to look into fair competition. I think that is very narrow-minded. Those are means to an end. We, look in the end. we look. We need to look at the end. What do we want in Europe? In particular in times when Europe is criticized, the Commission is criticized, we need to look into what can help people for wealth, for growth, for jobs, for a safe environment, etc., etc. And then artificially curtailing solar power, which is a technology what we all want, what we all need. Curtailing it artificially is a very wrong approach. Tariffs and protectionism and anti-dumping duties are more uh, a la mode right now than it's ever been. We have more protectionism and more people would like to protect European industries than ever before. None of them call themselves protectionist, of course. I've never met a politician claiming to be protectionist, but they always claim that we need to protect XYZ and therefore I think they are protectionists.